So connectivity is about staying in touch with people. I have the special pleasure of having my uncle here. Some of you might know him because he's on LinkedIn too, but Uncle Lynn, I want to know what does connectivity mean to you? You're a life, you have so many interesting experiences. You've been all around the world. You've lived all around the world. When you think about what connectivity means to you in relationship to your relationships, what does that mean? I'm going to have to think for a second on that one. Okay, take a few seconds. Well, first of all, connectivity is connected to the fact that the universe is connected. So okay. that's where we start. Okay. And as sentient beings in the middle of the universe, if we fail to recognize connectivity, we're dead to begin with. We got squat. Yeah. Okay. Got nothing. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, for, at least for me, is to, to separate the process of wanting to connect oh. to the process of enjoying the passion of connecting. Okay. In Zen terms, it's getting rid of the desire. Okay. And if you get and rid of the desire, what do you have? What you have is the entity in itself because huh. that's the passion without the desire. Ah, I like it. I've never heard it described that way. The other way to look at it is to recognize that both sides are right, and that's probably more mm. accurate. And that is there are times to be in the Zen, in the moment, mm -hmm. not aspirational, mm. but just letting yourself and the other people flow around each other. And the other thing is recognizing that you actually have desires and dealing mm. with them. To quote my colleague in the executive search business, I say, it's never about the money. And he says, it's always about the money. Ah. And we're both right. And there you go. So connectivity, lots of great lessons right here. Remember, it's a great day to connect.